next uh, we'll just see how to make multi layers in map uh, so here the map is currently colored by some of sales and the size circle which over is it is it says about the whether it's profit or loss the size says the about the quantity and the color says about whether it's profit or loss yeah gray is like profit and red is like loss and also here we have one more feature once if you click customer name what it does is uh, as usual the uh, sales will be shown in the area and the dot which are you are seeing on top of each uh, state it says about like how many customers are there in the um, each sales versus customer and next is sales versus profit or loss uh, that's the thing we will just try to make out to so <coughs> state on it can be built out now, now first uh, once if you double tap on state it will automatically come to the details tab and longitude and latitude will automatically go to columns and rows now we just want to color it by sales so some sales on color so this is the first layer we got next we want uh, to show the customer id like how many customers are there in each state so for that we will just pull the latitude here So now we have two latitudes. In one we are showing the sum sales. In next one we will show about the uh, we will show the number of customers. So customer name. Just right click, pull it to size, and do count as two. Okay. So so now we got the customer in each state. We will we will access it. and we'll just increase the size even more so now we are we'll we are able to see the sales versus the number of customers in each state so you can see the legend here so california has the greatest max sales and it's also understandable that there are more number of customers this is the one so here uh, simply like similar to other charts we just did a dual axis but we did the dual axis on latitude yeah so next uh, jumping to the ne next feature here uh, in this chart which i made here i just used the parameter to show profit and uh, profit if you want to just click the profit here we will show state as the profit and once if you click customer name it will show the how many customers are there in each state so we will try to create a parameter and use it create parameter uh, integer list we'll just go one and two so it's easy to write calculated field rather than giving input as string so one means customer and two is like profit close profit so now we have created the parameter we'll just give u by r sum u by parameter now we got the parameter now we have to use this in some calculated field so create calculated field u by selection so if um u by equal to 1 then give me the count distinct customer else if u by is equal to 2 then give me the profit then so now we use the parameter and we wrote a uh, calculated field instead of count it distinct customer name here we will put it to size and once if you change it to profit or loss accordingly the thing will change now the next task is to now we got to see like what is the quantity based on size but we have to we are not sure whether it's profit or loss so we have to distinguish between profit or loss for that we will use like a color sign there is a function on a sign if it is positive value it will give red one and if it is negative it will give minus one so sign u by selection and once if you pull it to color 
can just see the red ones are like loss and the blue ones are like profit so you can see here in illinois though sales is more than rest of the states which is light colored but it's still a loss so here we will be able to analyze uh, the sales versus profit so the color which is behind which is assigned for each set it's like 920 to 457000 and uh, the dot which you are seeing is like profit or loss so this is what i have a uh, customer name once you select customer name it will just show how the how many customers are there in each state and once you select profit it will show the profit or loss even we can name the headers dynamic by using the same parameter sales versus insert parameters view by sales is profit our sales is customer name so <clears throat> any doubts in this okay then we'll move on to the next one so uh, i don't doubt jero oh. yeah yeah sure so um <clears throat> see so i've go ahead uh, yeah actually uh, you when you are showing profit so the dot uh, are they telling the intensity of the profit or it is just telling uh, that a profit it's profit no it's or telling about the intensity for example in california we see 76000 and here it's like only 3000 it also says about the intensity i think intensity is by size here yeah. right yeah okay intensity is by size and the sign a scalar says whether it's profit or loss the red one is like negative profit which is loss okay. so you can see in color order it's like minus 6528 so it's like a loss okay got it 